Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transfer domain away on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said in the beginning of the video is we would like to transfer a domain away. So how can you do that? Of course, we will not need this page at this moment. We'll have to go and open a new tab. In this new tab, go to the URL section and type dcc.godaddy.com and hit the enter button. That should take you into this page. Of course, they ask you to sign in into your account again. Just do it. It will not take a lot of time. And here you will see all the domain names that you have in your account. Just select all the domain names. Of course, you can select more than one that you would like to transfer. Then, of course, you if you find here transfer account option, click on it. If you didn't, you can just click at more at this like bottom panel and click at transfer to account. Here you'll be you will have the option to enter the recipient's email address and you will have to re-enter it in case you make a mistake to so the first one. They'll actually ask you or tell you it's not the same. So be careful about that. Of course, those two are actually mandatory, but this one is just optional, which is the recipient's customer. If you want to fill it, that's cool. If you don't, you can list it as it was, as, as it is. Of course, here, the last thing that you'd like to do is just do you want to copy the current domain contact information to the new account. If you want to, click at yes. If you don't want to, click at no, then click at send transfer request. Of course, this will take maximum one day so you will not have to wait a lot of time so that's actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye